This particular technique is called completing the square, but very often in exams it's not known as that, and in fact this question is how it's written. The shortcut to being able to do this is quite simple. We half a number, we square the number, and we subtract the number. And as long as you know which number we're dealing with, it's quite easy. It's actually this number here. We half that number, and that's 5. So I know that the first letter I'm looking for is 5. Then I square the number. 5 squared is 25. And finally, I subtract that number. At the moment, I've got positive 2. And when I subtract the 25, I end up with negative 23. That's the end of the question. The A was 5 and the B was negative 23. The reason this works is because x add 5 squared is x add 5 add x add 5. And this gives me x squared add 10x add 25. However, you'll see what I was looking for earlier on in the question was x squared add 10x add 2. I don't want it to be add 25 and that's why I've then got to do the minus 23. However, as long as you remember to half that number to give you the first number, square it 25 and then subtract it from here you'll have got your marks. Have a go at this one and try remembering the shortcut and pause before you see the answer. OK, so hopefully you've remembered that it's this number that we're going to be dealing with. I'm going to halve it. Half of 8 is 4. I'm going to square it. 4 square is 16. And I'm going to subtract it. So I'm on 5 and I'm going to subtract 15 and that makes minus 11.